the danger of indifference. The danger of indifference. The thought police has done a tremendous job shutting us up. People are afraid to say what they really think or feel because if you're not politically correct now, you can get in all kinds of trouble. Man. Tony the, Perkins said this. He said this, pastors, pastors who may be streaming with us. He says, our pastors are our last best hope. If that is true, we're in trouble. Because most pastors have become indifferent to the wickedness that is going on in the world today. <laughs> pastors have gotten the memo. You want to keep your members. If you want to keep your revenue up. If you want to keep rear ends in the seats, say nothing. Preach a flowery sermon and call it a day. Uh, one of the pastors of a huge church in one of our neighboring cities preached a, a, ser a sermon uh, one Sunday uh, uh, and dealing with the, the sin of pornography. And uh, his offering, uh, the church revenues dropped by 10%. The next Sunday, he preached even more about pornography against it. And the revenues dropped an additional 20%. The next Sunday, he went back to preaching what he'd been preaching all the time, and the money came back up. They sent him a message. What he should have done, he should have continued to preach the gospel and trust the God of the Bible for his survival. The only one who can shut up a room down is the one who opened up a room. The God of the I'm Bible. I'm amazed at the emphasis our church can put on pants, stockings, dresses, lipstick, foundation, and will give no time to abortion, fornication. The fact that 73% of our children today in the black community are born into homes where there are no dads. It's amazing the time we spend on things at the end of the day that doesn't matter. And the, the, the small amount of time we spend on things that do. I'm amazed at the attention we preachers, we brethren, give to giving honor to the bishop, giving honor to the superintendent, and talking about the, uh, the money that we give to men and the money that we give to, to causes that don't matter and the difficulty it is to get us to honor God and to support causes that matter. I wonder how time will judge us. It's one thing to speak truth in your bedroom when there's nobody there but you. It's easy to speak the truth of God while preaching to the choir, talking to a house who agrees with you. But I want to know, what do you say in the marketplace? What do you say on your job? What do you say when you get a chance to speak to ears that matter? Through. The next time the devil tells you to hold your peace for it won't do any good, just know that the devil is a liar. It could be that that word you speak will be a word fitly spoken, a word that will come in at the right time that will make all the difference in this to occupy until Jesus comes. Our role is to preach the truth until Jesus comes. Our word is to hold, our role is to hold up the blood-stained banner. Hold it up till he comes. Yeah! Good God Almighty, look at somebody and tell a neighbor, know your role. Good God Almighty, you got to know that God have called you for such a time as this. And he hadn't called us to silence, but he's called us to speak up. Do you want to be blessed? Do right. I need somebody to help me preach. 
preacher, your neighbor, tell them if you want to be blessed, seek God. Ah, if you want to be blessed, do what is right, and the Lord, ah, the Lord, will come in for you. Say, Lord, He's got your back, He has your back, your side, your front. Your head, your feet, everywhere. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Say it. Say God said, tell the saints. And God said, they'll get this. Tell them that they are not to be the kind of saints who offer me lies that cost them nothing. Your walk with God ought to cost you something. Ostracism, criticism, being lied on, amen, being marginalized. Sometimes you missed that promotion. Sometimes some things didn't happen. And you say, God, what about it? God says, I like that. When you bring a life before me, come close, Trey. When you bring a life before me that cost you something.